Hey everyone, how you doing today? It's me, David. I'm here in my whiskey den here in Central Ohio, and we're going to be trying out another new to me bourbon. And this one is Flatboat Spirit of the River. It's distilled and bottled in Kentucky. 90 proof. Barrel aged Kentucky Street bourbon whiskey. Um, from the research I've done, this is a product. It says the Founders Company in Louisville, but it's actually a collaboration. Well, I shouldn't say collaboration. It is, there's a, a chain of liquor stores down in Kentucky. They're, I don't know if they're in other states, but down in Kentucky, it's called the Liquor Barn. <laughs> and, you know, uh, I miss being in a state where you can just go into a liquor store the size of a supermarket <laughs> and pretty much get what you want. Um, here in Ohio, it's a little bit different. Yes, you can go to the supermarket and browse their liquor collection, but it ain't too big. It's like, never mind. It's just like a partitioned off area with about maybe four rows of liquor. Um, so there you go. So anyway, Liquor Barn is contracted with Sazerac, specifically the Barton 1792 Distillery, to produce this 90 proof bourbon. Now, I'm looking forward to trying this because it the bottle says is exactly the same as this Beardstown, and I'm going to be doing a comparison between the two in another video. But right now, for our really big shoe, I'm going to be trying out this Flatboat Bourbon and uh, see if it's any good. This is, again, it's 90 proof, and... At the liquor barn, I paid like 25 bucks for this. So uh, there you go. And you know, in these tough economic times, you want to get the most bang for your buck. Right? Right. So uh, here we go with the bourbon. And it looks, has a nice, uh, me, I'd say medium brown. I don't know how the camera's picking it up. Medium brown tone. It smells like bourbon. I don't know the mash bill. I don't know the age statement. Um, based on the color, I'm assuming it's aged for about four years. So it doesn't smell young or look young. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. It does remind me of a Barton offering. Reminds me of a Barton 1792. My bottle of Barton 1792 <coughs> was good at first, but then I got a little bit through it and it started not tasting the best. So we'll see how this one goes as I have it. It's nice because it does not break the bank. It's not an entry level bourbon I will say it's a lot better to my palate than Buffalo Trace it's got a lot nicer um, nicer fuller body to it <laughs> kind of like Jane Mansfield never mind <laughs> I barely know who she was you know and I'm in my 50s so there you go I'm gonna go in for the second taste it's, you know, it doesn't have anything that stands out. Like some bourbons have this malt scent smell nose to it. This one is just, has a spice to it. So it's probably got a nice rye content. Hmm. It is, it's got a nice spice to it hmm somewhat I don't know it's got to have a, this high rye it is so it's so spicy and nice that I <laughs> actually really like it um 
So if you do happen to hit a liquor barn down in Kentucky and you want something kind of different but something similar, it, it doesn't even have that harsh burn. It's not harsh. It's not ultra smooth. It's not ultra mellow. It's not something that, you know, is like super special. Um, but, you know, for 25 bucks, it's a pretty decent value in my opinion. And I would actually pick this over, like I said, over Buffalo Trace. Um, kind of, in a way, kind of reminds me a little bit of Michter's. That kind of spice to it. Um, I, don't, I don't even know what else I can compare it to. I mean, it's really good. I am looking forward to trying it along with the old Beardstown and uh, see if they compare. Maybe they're the same thing. Who knows? If they're the same thing, the Beardstown cost me, I think it was 20 bucks. So uh, if I can save me a few Johnnies in my wallet, we'll go for that now, won't we? So, um, all right. So until next time, just so you know, you are watching the least watched bourbon review channel here on YouTube. So consider yourselves in an elite club if you're watching this video, much less subscribing to the channel. So um, if you do like what you see, subscribe, all right? All right. And uh, maybe I'll have to send you guys out some like special club cards or something, you know, ID, I don't know, whatevs, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so until next time, it's me, David, here from my whiskey den. I hope your next pour is your best pour. We'll catch you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Hey everyone, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos as they drop. Thanks for watching.